Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. So in this video, we shall discuss the coding challenge 2 that was asked in Amazon SD that is Software Development Engineering. So we shall quickly see the question 2, programming question 2. In my previous video, I have uploaded the programming question 1. So do watch that. So programming question 2 is like this, which, which is asked based on the strings. So substrings and distinct characters. So initially you will be given a string of lowercase alphabets and xi be the number of substrings which is formed with the string s and which may contain at least, at least means it can have more or it can have one or more than one uh, or distinct characters you can say. So our task is to determine the value xi for all i where i can take the values in the range 1 to 26. So we shall consider a sample example that is initially n equal to 4 and s is a, a, b, c. It's a string of characters and our approach for this problem is that initially the value xi you need to calculate. So see for i equal to 1, so for if i is 1, so you need to find what are the substrings. So substring of s it can have at least 1 or you can have distinct characters. So like you can form 4 substrings, so 4 into 5 by 2. So various strings you can form, see, A comma, so you can form A, A, B, C, A comma, B comma, C. Similarly, A, B, C, like such you can form 5 substrings, so divided by 2 is 10. So then after that for I equal to 2, every substring you can form for I equal to 2 means which can have, so 2 or more, so A, A, B, a, A, B, C, B, C and A, B, C which have at least one distinct characters hence X, I is 5. So next thing is for I equal to 3. You can form every substring which can have A, A, B, C and A, B, C which have at least one distinct character so X, I equal to so this should be 2. So this is 2, this should be 2. So for I greater than equal to 4, there is no substring. So for I, because the length of the string is 4, so there is no substring. So which can have, you can say xi is 0, value of xi is 0. So therefore output will be 10 for you and this should be 2. So remaining 0, so which should be included with the space, 26 space characters, which can take range from 1 to 26. So remaining elements will be obviously 0 because the length of the string is only 4. So remaining elements will be 0 itself. So then we shall see the function description. Initially the function and the main function will be given. You need to write the code. You need to complete that function. So complete the distinct cars is the name of the function which is provided in the editor and which takes two parameters. That is uh, n represents the length of the string s and s represents the string of characters. So input is that the first line contains an integer n and it represents the length of the string and second line contains the character of strings. So what is the output is that you need to print a single line output which contains 26 spaces and these are separated integers. So the ith, in, ith integer representing the xi in the same order. So this is sample input 1, 3 is the number of, so 3 is nothing but it's the first line contains an integer n which denotes the length of the string. So you can see length of the string is 3 and s is the characters of string. So abc is the string and which has 3 length, so n is 3. So how to approach for this problem is that, so initially you need to find the value xi. So you need to start from i equal to 1. So for i is equal to 1, so how many substring you can form? You can form a comma b comma c. Then A, B, B, C, A, C, A, B, C. So you can form 3. So the value of xi will be 6. So you can say every substring of x which has 1 distinct character for i equal to 1. So you can form 6 substrings. So xi is 6. Similarly for i is equal to 2 you can say every substring for i equal to 2 at least means it can have 2 or more. So 2 or more you can say A, A, B after that A, B, C. Similarly, BC, ABC, which can take 3. Similarly, for I is equal to 3, you can say substrings that can be formed are there will be only one substring, that is, ABC is only one substring. So, you can say XI equal to 1. So, then for I greater than or equal to 4, you can say no substrings can be formed. So, because length of the string is 3, and you can say only there no substrings can be formed, so length is 0. 
so therefore you can say output is 631 followed by 26 you need to fill it with 26 spaces of integers so remaining everything will be 0 so you need to precede the remaining characters with the 0 so this is what you need to get the output for this code so this is the input and sample output for this code so thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates